Okay, so today I promise it's the last bit of VB code. Honestly, last little bit of VB code that we're going to look at for a while. And we're going to move on to some of the languages and some other cool little projects. Uh, today's tutorial, we're going to look at send keys and how to send keys to the shell and to applications. So in this lesson, you'll learn um, how to boot applications using VBScript and how to send keys to the application including special keys and combinations of keys as in Alt, Escape, Tab and Enter. So let's get started. <coughs> I'll just follow the screen capture. Okay, okay so let's get to the code. Um, very, very simple. Uh, we set up y as an integer for our for and next loop down here. Next one sets the shell object. Now this uh, this shell object, if you go on the end, it's the end. There will be certain calls and routines that we won't cover here, but you'll probably need to use or you want to look at and check out. The uh, w script dot sleep sends the uh, w script interpreter to sleep for five seconds, and then it continues ex um, executing our code. This for and next loop steps around here three times, um, three times, ten times, and sends hello world and the line number or the amount of times that it's sent it, and sleeps for two seconds in between each time, does it? So let's just have a look at what happens when we run it. It's just a new text document. Okay, open up. Okay, so now you can see hello world being printed 10 times to the notepad document. Now that's really, it's quite cool. But what we've had to do is we've had to open the document, click the mouse and swipe the window, and basically tell the computer where we want the input to go. Well, we can be a little bit more clever with our scripts by telling Windows um, by telling the Windows script engine to open our application, input into the application and then close the application and either save the file or um, don't save it or, you know, the choices are limitless really. Um, so let's have a look at this script. This one's slightly more complex but it's pretty much the, uh, pretty much the same. So we've got option explicit here which means if we define a variable, uh, we can't define it in line, they all have to be predefined, so we have to dimension all the variables. Okay, so set shell equal to create object windows script dot shell, it's the shell object again. Uh, this line here, instead of calling the send keys function, uh, we're calling the run function and we're just asking for notepad.exe to be executed. Now this will be executed and it will be brought to the front of the Windows screen. Uh, so we tell the script to sleep for 15 hundredths of a second whilst the, um, whilst the computer boots the application. Uh, we set our variable up here of time, uh, which is the timeout value. And we say for i equal 0 to 10, so it goes around this 10 times. And we're sending hello world, tab, this is line number, and uh, followed by the key at the end key, and then followed by a sleep of a timeout variable, and the timeout decreases so gradually the input gets faster. Now, that's cool, but down here, you see this character here, they're using the percent symbol to send the alt button. Now you can use the, um, the arrow above the number 6 to send the control key, you can use the escape key, you can use all of them, um, they're all in the uh, MSDN, if you go and have a look you'll be able to find out all the different keys that you can send and different functions you can call using this, the, the shell object. Right, we've said that. And, um, 
This set of keys, this pattern here, basically tells the application to quit without saving. So let's just have a look at the script, see what happens when we run it. And it's loaded notepad, let's output my lines, eventually getting faster. And then quitting without saving. And that is how you send keys to applications and to the Windows shell using VBS. I hope you've enjoyed the video, have fun hacking, and we'll be back soon with some really, really cool projects. We've got some cool stuff coming up. Stay tuned. See you soon.